Newton's second law is good because we have this equation, f equals ma, which is uh, basically Newton's second law. And so we can now get some mathematics into there and get some precise numbers and measurements and predictions going on. Uh, so um, this doesn't actually come from me. This comes from the actual physics teachers. Um, so these, um, this colleague has a PhD in physics, and he says this is the best way to describe it. So you can't just write the equation, you have to describe the equation. Uh, so we recommend that you use this one. The acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the unbalanced force and inversely proportional to the mass. So if you have a look there, A equals F on M is the way you're describing it. Uh, so directly proportional as you increase acceleration, uh, you increase uh, the as you increase the force, you increase the acceleration, or vice versa, and that's a straight line. But interestingly, when you're talking about acceleration and mass, it's actually a curve, uh, and so it, the rate uh, of increase of um, acceleration uh, increases as the mass decreases, and and in the other direction also. So it's good to know what those words are: directly proportional, inversely proportional, and what they actually look like. Because uh, that in, that um, comes across in many areas of science, you need to be able to accurately describe the type of uh, relationship there is. So the first one here, the, this is uh, very useful too. So the the actual forces are given newtons, and so the newton is actually um, moving uh, one kilogram uh, at the rate at the acceleration of one meter per second squared. So I counted here. Uh, one, I had actually a, someone, a, a timer reading out one, two, three. So I'm, I'm moving it exactly one meter in one second. So that's exactly going from zero meters per second to one meter per second uh, in one second. Uh, so I'm demonstrating there to you exactly a Newton of force. Okay. And so uh, the next thing here is, um, as you can see how useful all these things are, um, we now know uh, the, the weight, um, the force of gravity, which is called the weight, uh, just based on the mass. So if there's basically times it by 10, so um, the force of gravity, uh, acceleration due to gravity is 9.8, I'm just rounding off to 10. Uh, and so if you've got a one kilogram mass, uh, your the weight is 10 newtons, one times 10. Uh, and so say, let's say for instance, you weigh 50 kilograms and someone asks you how much you weigh, uh, you tell them I weigh, um, I'm 500 newtons, all right? You're not 50 kilograms, that's on how much you weigh, that's your mass. Uh, and so the next one here, uh, just out of in curiosity, so these two pieces of paper weigh the same, uh, so they're about, you know, it's about uh, 5 grams, so they've got about, times that by 10.05 newtons, but interestingly, they don't fall at the same rate. So just be aware um, of all the other extra forces involved. So obviously there's a greater resistance in the, the paper that's not scrolled up. And so uh, that has a decrease, uh, a smaller force in the opposite direction. So um, the paper ball falls the furthest. Um, just another example here, the ping pong ball is uh, lighter, has less mass. And so if you use the same force, it's going to accelerate greater. So you can see that the ping pong ball moves the further distance um, than the tennis ball. Uh, and how much does the ping pong ball weigh? It's about 2.5 grams, so it's about 0.025 newtons. Uh, and so this one's called a discrepant event. So here the, the wind resistance is negligible, uh, but it's a one kilogram mass. So you've got 10 newtons versus 0.025 newtons. So why doesn't the heavy object fall faster and fall first? Uh, it's a classic question. All right, uh, and to answer that question, you need to really, uh, you can look at it several ways. You can simply say inertia. A heavier object takes more effort to move than a smaller object. Uh, so they balance each other out. So the force of gravity uh, due to gravity is larger, but so is the inertia. And the, uh, the ping pong ball, the, the force, is, force due to gravity is smaller, but so is the inertia. Um, I, the mathematics looks a little easier. The, the A font size is both the same, so the accelerations are the same. Um, it's a larger force due to gravity, 10 newtons, but it's also a larger mass, F, large F, large M. Uh, whereas the other side, it's a very small F, but also a very small M. Uh, and so those things balance out. So acceleration uh, is the same for both of them, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Therefore, they both fall at the same rate and hit at the same time.